Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2017, slot to DILR, says that there is a high security research lab that requires the research to set a pass key sequence based on the scan of the five fingers of the left hand. When an employee first joins the lab, her fingers are scanned in an order of her choice. And then when she wants to re-enter the facility, she has to scan the five fingers in the same sequence. So one has to put the five fingers in the same sequence to get into the lab. The lab authorities are considering some relaxations of the scan order requirements since it is observed that some employees get locked out because they forget the sequence. So there is only one original sequence and there are certain relaxations so that one could enter. So the relaxation is given as follows. The lab has decided to allow a variation in the sequence of scans of the five fingers so that at most two scans, at most two scans out of five are out of place. For example, if the original sequence is thumb, index, middle, ring and little finger, that is T-L-M-R-I <coughs> is also allowed. So the original sequence is T-I-M-R-L. Now it allows T-L-M. R I. So if you see this is at the same place, this is at the same place, this is at the same place. However, two are out of place. So this is allowed. However, if you have the original sequence as T I M R L and the sequence that a person is inputting is T M R L I. So this is not allowed because you have one, two and three and four wrong sequences. So you can have maximum two wrong sequences. <coughs> Now the question is, how many different sequences of scans are allowed for any given person's original scan? Now let us understand that, uh, one thing that you need to understand is there cannot be one out of scan uh, sequence. So if you are making a mistake, that will happen in two places. So let's say T-I-M-R-L. So if you swap I, it will be swapped with something else, right? It cannot have only one mistake. So there are two possibilities that either you put the original scan that is no mistake or you have two mistakes you cannot have one mistake because if you are making a mistake it has to be done with some other variable so no mistake there is only one original sequence and two mistakes so two mistakes means here we need to use the concept of combinations right so we have five sequences and we need to pick any two so that can be swapped with each other so two mistakes mean 5C2. We will select two, two out of the five letters and they will be swapped. So one way of uh, disarrangement and two, 5C2 ways of selection. So we can have 10 such pairs. Okay. So 10 plus 1, we have total 11 possible scans through which a person can log in into the lab. Next question. In this, we are given another condition. It says that the lab has decided to allow variations of the original sequence. So that input of the scanned sequence of the five fingers is allowed to vary from the original sequence by one place. So vary by one place for any of the fingers. So for example, T-I-M-R-L is the original sequence. So if the original sequence is T-I-M-R-L. Now in that case, I-T-R-M-L is allowed. I-T-R-M-L. How it is allowed? Okay. See. TI has been swapped with IT, MR has been swapped with RM, okay, but LIMRT is not allowed. So if we see TIM, RL, LIMRT, now why it is not allowed is, although there are three, three uh, fingers in the same space, but these are, this is swapped with the last finger. So we can scan two alternate fingers, but not uh, the entire range of fingers. So we need to find that how many cases can we have in this scan so that <coughs> a person can uh, enter the lab. So again, we have, let's say one is original. Original is only one case. Okay. Then we can have one pair of scan, one pair of uh, swab. How can we have one pair of swab? So let us say the fingers are one, two, three, four, five instead of getting confused with TIMRL. So let us say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can have swap of 1 and 2. We can have a swap of 2 and 3. We can have a swap of 3 and 4. And we can have a swap of 4 and 5. So there are 4 ways in which we can 
pair uh, we can swap one pair of fingers okay now we can also have two pairs swapped like in this example so you'll find two pairs swap now taking the same case one two three four five now if you are swapping one two we can also swap three and four if you are swapping one two we can also swap four and five one two three four one two with four and five now suppose we are swapping two and three so we can swap four and five like we do not have any further because if we swap three and four we cannot swap the next finger and we have already considered one two before it so we have three cases wherein we can swap two pairs of fingers okay so the total cases as one original swap plus uh, original fingers uh, four cases where we are swapping two fingers two consecutive fingers and the third case wherein we are having two pairs being swapped so total of eight ways of of sequences allowed to log in here's the next question it says the lab has now decided to require six scans in the past sequence where exactly one finger is scanned twice and the other fingers are scanned once which can be done in any order so for example a possible scan is uh, scan is t i m t r l so we can see that t has been used twice so we can use six sequences okay six uh, uh, you can use six fingers one finger is repeated now suppose the lab allows a variation of the original sequence of six inputs where at most two scans are out of place as long as the finger originally scanned twice is scanned twice and the other fingers are scanned once how many different sequences of scans are allowed for any given person's original scan okay so here we have six fingers so let us say 1 2 3 4 5 and let's say any finger is repeated let's say 1 okay so we need to find that how many sequences are allowed okay so uh, we here we have to pick two fingers right so uh, we can pick anything like we can have 1 2 we can have 1 3 so basically out of 6 we have to select two fingers so if we select any two fingers that's a swap okay and apart from that we will have one uh, one swap that is the original one however one swap we will have to reduce because the repeat finger will will be counted once only so if you take one one that is not considered as a swap so basically uh, that repeat is one swap okay there is there is only one repetition that one one okay so that will have to remove because it is not considered as a swap okay so 6c2 we have 15 15 swaps like we did in the very first question that there are six fingers we have to make like we did in that question wherein we had five fingers and we had to select two fingers so here we have six fingers six means uh, 15 swaps because uh, two uh, two we need to select and one is original right so uh, if a person has this code if the person enters the same code that is considered as a permissible uh, input and one repeat one will repeat because we will have one and one or any number like two and two repeated so that will be excluded because that will not be considered as a swap so if you swap this and this it is same as having the other sequence but if we swap one and five that is difference okay so we remove this repeat case hence we have a total of 15 such scans next question now we have again the six finger thing it says that uh, of uh, the same condition given six scans and we are given some additional thing suppose the lab allows a variation of the original sequence of six inputs so that input in the form of a scanned sequence of six fingers is allowed to vary from the original sequence by one place so what we had in the second question now this question is a mixture of second and third question so you have six scans plus you can vary from the original sequence by one place for any one of the fingers as long as the finger originally scanned twice is scanned twice and the other fingers are scanned once how many different sequences of scans are allowed if the original sequence is l r l t i m okay so here we have one original sequence so that is counted as one now we will have the same thing that we did in second question one pair swap 
so let's say we have uh, these six fingers one two three four five six so one swap can happen in one and two two and three three and four four and five five and six right so we can have five swaps of this kind if we take two pair swaps so two pair swap is uh, let's say we have a swap of lr okay so let's uh, like you can write these letters also so not to get confused l r l t i m in this case we had l r r l l t t i and i m one place swap five now if we take a two place swap l r l t i m so if you take l r together okay then we can have a swap in l t we can have a swap in t i and we can have a swap in i m so three cases suppose we take r l then we can have a swap in uh, t i and i m if we take l t as the first swap then second swap could be i m so we have two pair swaps are six possible like l r l t l r t i and l r i m similarly these all variations now we can also have since we have six fingers six scans so we can have three pairs also so let us see how can we have three pair swap so l r l t i m so it is possible that l l l r r swap like r l it becomes r l l t becomes t l and i m becomes m i so there is one possibility wherein we can swap three pairs of fingers so that is also permissible so if you count the total number of ways so we have 13 possible sequences in which one can enter the lab so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions